Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Brian, and I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Alonzo, and I have been waiting all year for Hallmark Christmas movies. <gasps> I'm Jax, and I'm delighted by Hallmark Christmas movies. And this is the Deck, Deck the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Deck the Hallmark yes. Podcast. There it is. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. It's like they jumped up and down for a minute. We hope you like this. Strawberries. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh man! Hello. Do you nice. know what would make the recording of this episode better? What's it's that? already live. It's yeah. already during the marathon. Yeah. What if we put the worst Hallmark Christmas movie of all time on in the background? <laughs> what is it? If I only, only had, had Christmas. Christmas. Oh, that's tough. Good. That's We're tough. here and we did it, everybody. We are here. We did do it. Uh, Christopher Palaha movie coming right out of the. Gate out of the gate, strong. Yeah, decided, decided to talk Saturday. about it. Yeah. Uh, we are heading towards the finish line of this marathon, and I want to know, guys, how are we doing? Feeling great, really Brian. Good. I and, and Alonzo, we went outside. Uh, I jumped around a little bit at the advice of Paul Green. Now, Paul Green, yeah. earlier today, during yeah. our marathon, talked about how he has a little baby trampoline. Rebound trampoline. Oh, yes, that he jumps on. That's right. So Brian and I yeah. went out to put it to the test, mm-hmm. and man, it's and a you miracle. didn't even have a little baby trampoline. No, you no just we were just had jumping on the, on the concrete, concrete out there. Can you imagine yeah. if we did? Oh, oh. man, we'd be up flying oh, right now. Forget about you it. Wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see us. We'd be in the clouds, <laughs> Brian. You guys should get on the couch. Jump. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. No one said this about my dance routine that I carefully choreographed for us. <laughs> yeah, Oof. it wasn't great. Too Jack. many spins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. It was. It was awesome I for the marathon. Well, we had to modify it for some yeah. people. Yeah, right. I we saw did. the modified There version. was some modified. <laughs> yeah, Don't you worry. Uh, Ryan and I were killing it. Ryan yeah. and I did it full out. Right. I did it from home the best that I could. I was tethered to headphones because I had to keep up with the course. Yeah, yeah. The, you could move. I, mean, I couldn't. For crying out loud. Yeah. I couldn't so, not. I couldn't like. You know. <laughs> so you think this is vacation for us sitting around watching TV all day? No, 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 so never. Serious. Yeah, uh, we've had a wonderful marathon. For those of you that have never heard of our marathon, um, you're welcome. I guess. Sorry, I don't Thanks. know. Um, <laughs> maybe, we'll, <laughs> maybe we'll do it again next year. Uh, but we've been watching Hallmark movies, uh, watching, but also eating a lot of food. Yeah, and uh, really that people have sent, Double Deckers have sent us food, and you guys have been eating it. I didn't really do a lot of eating today. Um, what is, what's been the highlight, food, the food, the food highlight Man, for you today? So well, many. Yeah. We had a Fruity Pebbles yes. Rice Krispie Treat. We did. It was unbelievable. That she, doesn't sound all that special. Well, not that special. Doesn't. It doesn't, but, but there's something about it. Wow. It uh, Sheila made a trifle that was a chocolate, mm, brownie, like caramel, something, another combo. You don't trifle with a trifle. You don't trifle with a trifle. No trifle and trifles like here. It melted in your mouth, but it, was, it had like substance, substance. but also yeah. it was light yeah. at the same time. So both hand, it yeah. was delicious. Uh, oh, I was well. introduced to a snack company in Pennsylvania called Hairs. Right. H-E-R-R. It's, it's got to be Hairs. They would not call their company Hairs. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Now, Come on now, down and get some hairs. Now that you say it, it it's probably, a hair snack. It probably is hers. I just I t- t- toss me a bag of hairs. Although it's probably Central PA, and it's being someone who's from Central water. PA, it's a crapshoot. It, it could w- be. It could water be in a bag of hairs. It's <laughs> mine, Liba <laughs> hair. You know. Anyway. Who's bag? Do, who do you want? Hers. But, but who, who's hers? Hers. 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 Uh, hers. Uh, but anyway, they do. They do Old Bay seasoned mm. cheese curls and uh, potato chips. And Holly Fight sent those, and they were awesome. Holly Fight doing it right. Yeah. I also really um, enjoyed Jane's apple cobbler. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. That was delicious. The cheese biscuits were mm-hmm. f- just had a little spice on the end of them. Uh, Jessica sent some peanut butter drizzled popcorn that I mm-hmm. loved mm-hmm. so much. There's uh, yeah, Yumi's raspberry. All the raspberry, oh, the raspberry the squares. Come carrots, on, popcorn, Chicago. I blend. mean, come on. The, the the crumble cookies and ice cream. Mm. What a you, we've not been doing this for days. This is we've all done this today. This is all today. Just today. Um, and we barely moved other than the jumping. Currently that you coursing guys did. through our we, systems. We did get uh, two healthy meals as well: chicken tenders and subs. <laughs> so, yeah, I. Feel, but the I subs the subs were uh, a healthy choice. 
by comparison to yeah. pizza. Yeah, yeah, they were. They were. They were. They were. I mean, we, we've done it, though. I mean, we've run the gamut here, and we've got a few leftovers. I'm so um, proud of uh, you guys today, watching you from afar. Yeah. Um, How was it at home, buddy? It looked tough. It was tough, but I was proud to watch you guys do it. It's, it's a, yeah. it's, it's, it it's is a marvel. A when you're in the room, you know, you're like, okay, it's, it's happening. But That's watching right. it from afar, it is a marvel to behold. Over 16 hours in. The grind don't stop. The grind don't stop. That's right. Uh, we're talking about the second Hallmark movie of the year. We wish you a married Christmas. It originally aired on October 22nd, 2022, and it went a little something like this. The movie kicks off with Becca, who, from the best I can understand from her conversations on the phone, she does, does like taxes or something. I don't know. She's talking directly to the camera about her problems. And then we see Robbie, who is a director. He's also talking directly to the camera about his problems. It turns out that they are in couples therapy with Rosemary from When Calls the Heart. Lee! Lee! Uh, they're fighting a, a ton about the remodel of their apartment. So Rosemary comes up with an idea. I saw an article for this quaint little town, Gracious Vermont. It's only a few hours away, so you guys can go. If something crazy happens to remodel, you're not that far away, so go try to reconnect. So they reluctantly go, check into the inn, get a room with two rooms in it. It's a room. It's a suite. It's a suite, suite with two bedrooms. Sweet. Um, so it's never great when you're going to reconnect and you're getting two rooms. Uh, then he orders her a steak at dinner, even though she gave up meat months ago. So also not great. Um, and she's like, I don't think that this is working. I feel like we've tried everything and maybe we just need some time apart. And he's like, I think that, yeah, maybe a separation is in order here. And they agree to go home. But a moose bruch, they, they can't. A moose bruch. A moose bruch. A moose bruch. A moose bruch. One of those I'd things. I'd like to talk to you about life insurance. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Have you checked your car's extended warranty lately? They can't leave that night is what I'm trying to say. The Bruce is calling. The Bruce, um, the Bruce the is next, too good to pass. The Bruce exactly is loose. The Bruce, the Bruce, Bruce is loose, baby. Uh, the next morning, they're walking to the car, and they see that a giant ornament has fallen through their car windshield. So uh, they called the mechanic, and the mechanic said it's going to be a couple more days or more than that. Who can tell, really? Um, so they're stuck there. That night, they go to a wine night, a sipping a sipping. Safari. Safari. Um, and they end up getting drunk and agree to help with the baking of 200 pies. Uh, the next morning, they find out what they've done, and they uh, have to go uh, do the roundup is what they've been tasked with, which is where they get supplies from like a dozen different places. Uh, it's a lot, and when they get back, they're tired. They don't want to do anything, but they basically get told, you're going Christmas caroling with us. And they're actually having a lot of fun, but Robbie gets a call and uh, leaves abruptly, which clearly bums Becca out. The next day, leaves. <laughs> the, the, the next day, Becca overhears the inn owner uh, being overwhelmed with everything they have to do with pies and whatnot. So Becca and Robbie say, "We'll help." And Robbie's like, yeah, I love baking. I actually took a baking class about a month ago. She didn't know about this. It bumps her out. Uh, but he tells her that he took the class to learn how to bake a cake for her so that he could bake her a cake at Christmas time and that he's sorry that he's been so obsessed with work and hasn't been talking to her. It's a real breakthrough. The next morning, the inn owner tells her that the marriage coach that they've been using sends people to Gracious all the time. So that was news to them. Uh, she brings Robbie coffee, and they decide to go get a Christmas tree for their place. They end up getting two little dinkers. Um, and then later, they're walking their dogs, and she uh, sees, or he's walking the dog. She sees him walking, so she kind of goes after him with some macaroons. And uh, he, the dog runs into this room. He follows the dog into this room. She follows him into the room, and then the door to this room just shuts. 
they're stuck, which forces them to talk some more. Eventually, they get out. They go hang with some alpacas, which uh, naturally leads them to asking her out for dinner. The dinner's not quite as romantic as they hoped, but they do get to bartend together again, and they have a blast. They go to the smallest parade of all time, even smaller than Rocky Mountain Christmas, and the uh, puppy, uh, their puppy is on a float. We love that. Uh, and they end the night by taking a nice, leisurely stroll through town, which leads them to the most Christmassy gazebo of all time, uh, with him singing to her, them dancing together, him apologizing for being a doofus, and them kissing real good ones. The next day, the car is fixed, and they go to the pie party thing, and uh, she gets a call from her mom, and her mom is like, Hey, I know that something's kind of been wrong with you and Robbie, but y'all always have great vacations, so I'm sure it's been great. And that gets her thinking, what if the only reason things are going great right now is because Gracious is great. We're having a great vacation. So she tells Robbie what she's thinking and that it probably isn't actually going to work when they get back to the big city. And he's like, okay, I'll pack our bags. The next day... I'll pack a bag. I'll pack a bag. Nailed it, buddy. Nailed uh, it. The next day, she goes to pick up a, a painting of their pupper that uh, she got for Robbie. Um, and uh, he comes out with the bags, goes to put the bags into the trunk, sees this... Uh, uh, wrapped a present with a card. He opens up the card. It says, we'll always be family. He opens it up, sees the sweet little painting of the pupper. He's like, oh, man, I'm not going to give up on this one now. So he runs. He finds Becca, pulls her real close and says, no, vacation isn't what is making this nice. It's us actually being invested in our relationship and making time for one another. And we can do that. And she's like, you really think so? And he's like, I know so. They kiss real good ones once again. They go back inside. They tell them that they want to stay until the 26th again and then they a new couple walks in they hear some alarms that couple goes out and it turns out that an ornament has fallen on their car it's a thing palaha giggles and that my friends was we, we wish, wish you, you a merry, merry christmas. christmas we did it we did do it let's take a quick break and we will come back and break this movie down here on deck the hallmark Welcome back, ninjas. <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a me thing. You I just know, keep Rick. it over to yourself there. Rick, how's time. the marathon been for you, buddy? It's been all right. I've been home. I've been taking frequent naps. Mm. I've been in and out. Doesn't Took a trip like a over marathon. to Fitzy's. <laughs> Had a fun little brouhaha over there. We all laugh while we're brewing beer. <laughs> 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 Went back home, another napsy. You know, you guys brew your own beer at Fitzy's. Oh, occasionally, mm. it's a big pot. Seasonal Everybody brew. gets to choose an ingredient. <laughs> I'm sure, that goes great. It goes wonderful. <laughs> what ingredient did you bring? My to the pants. <laughs> 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 Didn't see it coming that time. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, well, it's time for the hot take. So stupid. It's time for the hot take. Uh, let's start with you, Brian. Oh, sure. This is uh, a big responsibility here. This is your uh, fist, your first, your first. Your, your fist. Your, that <laughs> Am I your, getting punched in the that face? That's your, your fist, actually. Your fist. Stop hitting yourself. That this is, is your, your first. It's a big responsibility. <laughs> to, to be hitting That's right. right. Yeah, yeah. This is your first Christopher Palaha movie that it you're is. reviewing. It is. So don't blow this. Yeah. What do you think about this I movie? I feel like there was more pressure on Christoph than on me. That's true. For this one, his first one for me. Dude. Come on. Are you kidding me with this? This was phenomenal. <laughs> Christoph, Marisol, t together, awesome. That was awesome. More lights in this movie than I thought existed f f anywhere on any than you set. you thought existed? Yeah, in, in the universe. It was so well, like, it was beautiful. The decorations, it's just the scenes were awesome. The snow was everywhere. Uh, lots of talk of baking, but not as much baking as I would like to see. It can't be perfect, you know. Baking, uh, but they—I feel like they. Um, the it was sort of like welcomed topic because it was sort of like, hey, you have problems in your marriage, you have problems in your life. People around you can see that you have problems in your life and your marriage. They want to help you. They don't want you to fail. They want you to succeed. Take a breath, slow it down, and focus on the little things. And so I feel like coming out of this, like. I got a welcome reminder, like, let's focus on the little things this season. And 
you know, slow it down a little bit. Wow. For you, Brian. Yeah, Brian. That was your fist. Yeah. <laughs> Fisted myself in the face. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay. No. Don't think so. Don't Thanks think so. Lot. I'll go this time, no, no, guys. That's I, uh, a <laughs> 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 Brian. Brian. I, uh, I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> Oh, oh God, I broke that. Typically, oh, we don't God. get involved with standards and practices, but that's across the line. Larry Reinbold, yeah. something. Uh-huh. Like I'll, yeah. uh, I'll go. Um, if this is the amount of Christmas that we're going to be getting this season, uh, we, I am in for uh, one heck of a season because, good Lord, the Christmas is just next level. Yep. That that gazebo, oh. uh, boy, howdy. How do I take that gazebo and inject it into my veins? <laughs> Because that's how much I love that. Um, I love this movie. I thought it was really great. I, anytime they let Palaha just ham it up and just like do stuff, I'm always here for that. And he yelled multiple times in this movie, which I loved. You've got to be kidding me! Uh, love it. I love it. He didn't punch a wall, though. He didn't he punch did a wall. That been, he didn't that punch been a wall. It. Yeah. Um, but I love this movie. I thought it was really great. The Christmas was next level. I, I mean, I don't know what else you want from me. I'm a simple man. Chris Palaha <laughs> plus Christmas. Going to be a good time for Bran. Uh, but I really did enjoy this one. Jax? Um, so, you know, I don't have any children myself. But I can imagine that the joy a parent feels on Christmas morning is kind of like what I feel when I watch Bran watch Chris Palaha. <laughs> yeah. And it is just That's such great. delight in his face. I mean, it comes on. Chris is his like gallivanting through the streets. Yes, Bran's eyes light up and he's like they just let him do his thing and it just it, it was such a delightful way for me to start the movie i really liked this one i i got some feels i liked the pascal hutton only it probably only had one day off from work but they booked her in and Wee. she did her thing only. <laughs> and yeah i i thought this was a really special one and I'm hoping that we continue along this Merry Christmas way. I'm interested to hear what these boys have to say about it. I also it. just want to know which of the movies did you guys like better? I like this the first one. Two? I liked We Wish You'd Merry Christmas. Okay. Oh, man. Brand? I'm going to need to go to my war room. Your yeah, war room? Yeah, it's yeah. two movies, Brand. We're going to have to rank I 40. Got, it's it's the Palaha Marisol flick because there's just so much Christmas. Okay. And, and snow and winter thrown in your face. It just felt so good. Brand? That, that, that in. <laughs> I don't know. I need to think He's not going to make a call on Wait, it. Wait, are you serious? I need to think Interesting. About it okay. Hmm. Huh. Wow. He's torn between it's, it's Natalie, uh, Natalie, Natalie. And just, yeah. Well, no, I, 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 I'm, le I'm leaning towards this one. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Mean, lot, yeah. it, we typically uh, use quiet's not good on podcasts. <laughs> no, well, I, was, I, yeah, yeah, I don't no, want no, no, to no, you with him. Yeah, I'm going to barge that. in here. Uh, I, I'll tell you, I, I'm inclined, this is the kind of movie that I'm inclined to be more generous to because uh, arguing married couple learns why they fell in love with each other in the first place is like one of my favorite genres. Mm. Like one of my favorite movies of all time is uh, Two for the Road. Yep. Um, I love uh, Hope Springs and Marriage Story, although it doesn't quite work out with those Jeez. guys. But, you know, <laughs> but I, I, there Good is something golly. about like, like seeing a couple at their worst and then them sort of working through it one way or the other, I, I think that's that's good drama. There's potential for comedy. It tells you a lot about who these people are and who they've been and what they might become. Um, and you get dollops of that throughout the movie. Like, the beginning is great. The, the opening yeah. credits had, like, bold oh, yeah. editing choices so. in it and, and a lot of, you know, just felt really smart. And along the way, you get these moments where the two of them really, like, talk about stuff when they're not running around dealing with pies and whatnot, where they actually talk about issues of their relationship and how that went and what went wrong and how they can fix it. And these two actors are so good at this kind of thing that they elevate a film that I think would have benefited from a few more drafts of the script because I think there's other stuff here that doesn't fit together that feels kind of contrived or, or just like we need some wacky stuff and like is the town 
in cahoots with the marriage yeah. counselor. Yeah. Like they, they, they could have gone further with that or less, but they, they, they kind of land in the middle. So I don't know. I'm, I'm mixed, but I, I'm glad I saw it. I think there's a lot of it that works. I think that, that the Palaha and, and Marisol Nichols are terrific. Um, but because this is the kind of movie that I like so much, I would have liked to have seen them really nail it. And I don't think they did. Um, I'm, you, we're going to have a similar take again, Alonzo. I, the opening sequence of this movie is fantastic. Yeah. Like how they do the title card, how they do the therapy, how they show them separately but together at the same time, very symbolic. And then from that first five minutes on is a slippery slope to terrible movie. Um, there's a few blips along the way, but at the end, when we see the same ornament through a windshield, it's like the movie itself had two great performances and then didn't know how seriously they wanted to take the rest of this. About halfway through, they either needed to decide... The town is all in on it, and Chris and Marisol need to try to figure it out and make it like a silly screwball farce detective story with these two like finding love in the process. Or they needed to back off of some of that and just let it be about the two leads really doing their thing. And so to try to make this movie with such serious issues kind of whimsical and silly, like like Chris just is laughing at the fact that they damaged his Lexus on purpose at the end of this movie is just like it undermines everything that they do right in it. It, it is not one of my favorites that I've seen. Chris is amazing in it. Marisol Nichols is really, really good, but not even like a top three Palaha for me. Um, in all honesty. So yeah, I, I would give me Noel next door over this movie and I will really? stay and I will stand by that take. Wow. I am. Wow. Yeah. I will say Whoa. this. I, think, I will say No yeah. Next Door is maybe more successful but less ambitious. Correct. At what it okay. does, Noel Next Door is, and I th thought Noel Next Door was bad, but the promise of this movie in the first four or five minutes was just unfortunately never realized, aside from Chris and Marisol doing their thing. And I, I just feel like when you see that scene at the end and we're all supposed to chuckle, like it just made me feel cheated out of a movie. Like I just hated it. Yeah, That's, <laughs> that, that scene at the end did it for me. I'm serious. If that scene doesn't happen, I'm probably a little bit higher on this. You're but no that fun. The it's the That's what it comes down to. You're no fun. Just take a breath. Yes, buddy, it's you're no okay. fun. It's a funny fun. It's well, not a funny fun. It's a funny fun. The like if they didn't destroy property to do it, would it be different? No, it, the fact that how much is the town involved? Yeah, we don't it's, know. It's that. the ending of the Phantom Toll Booth. Have you ever yes. read or seen? Oh the yeah, toll I read it when I was in like where the, the the kid's friend gets the toll booth yes. in his room at the end, and it's like you get this just a thing that goes on and on. But in this context, like what? So is the new cranky yeah. couple from New York going to do all the town uh, yeah. New Year celebrations? But to like, be fair, and I'm. Not look. I know that you're upset, Brand. But if I'm watching through Brand's eyes, well, yeah, it checks all the boxes. The gazebo is on fire from so many lights. Yeah. Chris and Marisol are doing their thing. Yeah. There's Chris everywhere. And Carol it doesn't have to make any logical sense. That's exactly right. Yeah. Whatever so, it takes. Whatever to it get takes. Them to work yeah. it out. Whatever, whatever it takes. takes. Yeah. Whatever it takes. Uh, it's time for all the feels. Part of the show. We talk about what in this movie gave us his feels, Brian. Yeah, weirdly, my feels is kind of a sad scene, and it's after they had been working on things for a little while, and they were sitting together after she got that call from her mother, and she starts to question things, and he's all in at this point. He's like, let's go make this work, and she's like, well, what if things fall apart again? And she makes him sad, and I felt that. I'm like, man, he was a jerk. He's flipping it around. He's all in on figuring this out, and then she made him sad, and I just felt bad for him in that moment. And she was sort of like that voice in the back of your head where you're like, you know, what if? So it had to happen. But it just it just gave me the sads for a minute. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. More Can you fair. go back to you talking about how this makes you want to slow down for the holiday? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. really well, sweet. Yeah, yeah, it just that. does. It does make me want to slow down, breathe, take it all in. Take it all in. Enjoy. That was really be, cool. It's a game you're you can't be win. You're going to be reviewing a lot ride. of movies to yep. slow down this holiday Just slow season. down. Can I tell you a little bit more about this gazebo? Because, uh, yeah. good Lord, gazebo. this gazebo was magic, and I just want to kind of live in it forever. Uh, but also, I could um, watch Chris Palaha walking down the street talking to his dog out loud all day long. It wouldn't bother me one bit. <laughs> Every time it happened, yeah. I adored it. And so more of that, please, every day. Getting weird, Jax? brain. Um, I definitely had feels at the end when she gives him the portrait of their dog. And it's, you know, you'll always be my family. Because always I think be even, my family. Dog. 
Oh. I didn't know I what we were doing. I didn't know either. I was. I didn't want to mm. bail before you did. Um, because <laughs> you'll <laughs> always have the painting. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was also the thing that, like, we don't. I mean, we hope they work it out, but either way, they'll be connected. And it's really beautiful whether or not they stay married or not. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that painting wasn't meant for him. It was meant for somebody else altogether. I'm kidding. Oh my gosh! I was like, are you kidding? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he just he just opened up a present in his in his. Uh, what if it wasn't? Without asking. Yeah, but yeah I had I have feels. Yeah. I have feels. Alonzo, uh, I am still not so jaded about uh, the current regime of Hallmark that I don't get thrilled with a pair of gay from space B and B owners yes. in a movie. Yes. <laughs> Bring it. I want it. Also a lesbian coated tra- uh, tow truck driver. Yes, that too. Cindy, we're here for you. We see you. I- exactly. We- we're making space for you. Mm-hmm. Um, I-, I loved all that. And I, I remember w- w- at one point we talked about uh, last year's Crashing Through the Snow and how the references to uh, uh, Christmas wrapping That's and right. Gremlins, which are both from the 80s, still felt like Just, shockingly yes. fresh for Hallmark. So when he says milk bar, I'm yes. like, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was something. Jackpot, yeah. 21st century reference here from the Hallmark channel. We know milk bar. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, so so stuff like that, and and yeah, I mean, I think I think yeah, a lot. Like I said, the the emotional heft of this movie when it's allowed to emerge, but in in exchanges between the two of them, I think you know work really well. I think one of my other issues before I get to my feels is that this was advertised as a zany alpaca movie. Yeah, that, yes. like it was advertised as this zany. What's <laughs> going on? Chris is like doing all these, and like it's actually like cranberry no. Christmas too, but no. seriouser. Not enough um, alpaca, not enough alpaca yeah. for you. I, no, I'm, I'm not going to go that route. There are two. There are two scenes in this movie that I think are undeniably great scenes: the opening sequence and the gazebo scene. Uh, yeah. The gazebo scene is great because I don't know how they got that many lights on screen, but also you have an impromptu dance a really sweet moment where he kind of kneels and talks about how he's never stopped loving her or pursuing her regardless of if that's true or not um he like that scene and then they kiss that kiss right before the commercial mm. man that whole scene really really does work it and was the gazebo itself the gazebo was wonderful <laughs> it was brand is already googling snowman i had that, a snowman yeah, yeah. <laughs> the scene was great the scene was great yeah, let's take one more quick break, and we'll be right back at Deck the Hallmark on W-A-R-Z, The Cloud. Lizard. Welcome back, everybody. What We're talking you, about... Brian, what did you say? <laughs> Plant blood? That's just what I have in my notes. From Plant so. a- a- A-R-Z, I-, I went with lizard. Um... No, sense. it no. wasn't. The, they're the clown. Uh, <laughs> clown? <laughs> Just clown. I'm pretty sure it's lizards. Well, they sound down. To could clown. be lizard clown. They are. Mm. Uh, we're talking about this one. Uh, married. What is it? Uh, we, we wish, wish you a married Christmas. Christmas. Uh, I keep wanting to say, have yourself a movie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, let's talk about it with the wait. What? Anything that made us say wait? What? While we were watching the movie. Do you have any, Brian? I got two quick ones. Okay. So number one, they got locked in that shed that room for a little bit and she said we tried she tried to call the front desk no answer i just won't accept that there's nothing else you Come can on. try with your phone to get <laughs> yeah. yeah i won't accept it yeah the fire department <laughs> yeah. anything 911 yeah. that's right yeah 999 <laughs> whatever it takes so the, yeah. and then the other one there's just got to be a better way to get people to stay a few extra days than destroying their windshield with yeah that's the ornament. biggest one of the century is is clearly the plot of this town is is let's break a windshield with a giant ornament and be like it takes a long time to fix to it to make sure safe light never opens and i want to be very exactly. clear you could fix that windshield without moving that car in yeah. under two hours yeah real quick like that is a safe very light repair safe, safe light, light replace. replace that's promo code nope no, no it's that's just a freebie us wanting to sing the jingle so you did it safe <laughs> it's a good light. jingle First one's free safe light that's, that's right. good jingle <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's right um i got a couple i didn't mention how much i loved chris balaha talking to his dog while walking uh but one of the things i love most is him walking and just going Oh, look, it's Santa and his reindeer. <laughs> and that's it of that. Then we're moving right past it. He just wanted us to know there's Santa and his reindeer. Um, I also got a kick out of him saying, um, do you want to watch our movie? And the movie is A Christmas Carol, which is, you know, it's the equivalent of Silent Night being your song. It's very unique, <laughs> but kudos to you for doing that. 
Do you want to watch our movie? About the <laughs> and it's a stealth movie? shout out. Yeah, to yeah that's right. The holiday. Uh, Jax. Um, so I only have a, 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 the obvious ones that you guys have said, and I know that Alonzo and Dan will have some good ones, but I think I'm curious as to why when they got a little drunk, mm-hmm. right? Now, I know, I, I do like that Hallmark keeps it clean, but like maybe they would have fallen asleep in the same bed or maybe a little spicy. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, they, I, I mean, then they woke up and they looked totally put together. Yeah. They did not look hung over to me other than the acting, which was mm-hmm. good. I think they could have looked a little more disheveled. Hmm. All right. They don't look well, like people yeah. that have ever really had a hangover. Fair. Fair. Yeah. All right. Wow. Great. Damn. Oh, Alonzo? Alonzo? Uh, in a movie, too many people for In me. a movie that acknowledges that Milk Bar exists, I <laughs> can't believe that three times in a row they pronounce the cookie that is called a macaron as a macaroon. Macaron. macaron. They are two separate cookies. Things. It's like homage and homage. Thank you. So, yes, a macaron the is the cool little French pastel colored thing made out of like... Uh, I forget what, but it's, they're delicious. And that's what they show in the movie on the table. Macaroons are those yummy coconut things yeah. that you get in the can for Manischewitz uh, for the, all the Jewish holidays. Uh, oh. The other question, going back to the... Jack's learned something new. I didn't know that. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Going, going back to the uh, room that they're locked into, they are locked in a storage room for Christmas decorations. Yep. <laughs> it is days before Christmas. That's right. When, yeah. if ever, are those decorations right. going right. to be liberated? They're the old ones they yeah. don't want to throw away. No, but, but don't want to use. Just as backup in case they need another giant <laughs> gingerbread man. In a town yeah, where right. every square inch is covered with Christmas, yeah. those ones didn't make the cut. Yeah. <laughs> Hide them away. More on them at but 11. don't throw them away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the biggest, There's. I don't have many, actually. The biggest one is the fact that this town to some level is involved with keeping people there and they're using the destruction of property to do so. Um, I would suggest that this is a large scale crime with a a lot of conspiracy involved. Um, They are only a few hours from home. A, a, A windshield being busted would not keep them at that moment from going home. They, they drive a Lexus and other very expensive cars. They're getting home. If they want to go home, they'll get home. Like, this is not some big speed bump that they make it out to be. Um, I don't care much about kitchen design. And when I say much, virtually none at all. Don't care what the counters look like or the floors. But for the life of me, you cannot put a microwave in a center island. No. I, I just, I, like, I have to put my foot down there. I, I can't, that is not logical. It's not efficient. Somewhere in the kitchen, you're looking at the back of a microwave. Yeah. If you do that, I just can't imagine someone being like, what I want is to see all sides of a microwave at all time. I just, that is not how you have a hill to die on. Everyone knows or, the back of a microwave is the best part. It's the best part. I it's mean, a showstopper. You know, it's a showstopper, you said. Dan's going full Nora Ephron here That's on right. the kitchen full, design. Full Nora Ephron, big kitchen design guy, if you know me. Um, and at one point, Chris, who like is really mad at the contractor, so Chris is not a contractor, he's a director. Yeah. Um, he's on the phone and he says, have you tried the circuit breaker? I, I don't know. <laughs> that does one thing. is it yeah. tur- If you broke the circuit, it turns it back on. If they're a contractor, whatever you would need the circuit breaker for, I think they got that under control. Um, they don't need pointers from you. Uh, that's all I've got. It's time for what the Hallmark Inspire show. We wonder what could have been. Maybe happen. Get some clarity questions that we still have. Brian? So the, the one thing I'm wondering is how does their therapist decide which couples she sends to this town? Yeah, because, that's mine. You know, she can't see just send everybody. So how do you decide who goes to Gracious? I have a theory. I think the ones that she's like, I am annoyed with these people. And I want them, she wants them to get better. So she doesn't think that they don't belong together, but she's annoyed and she wants their treatment to end. She she wants to be done with them. She wants to be done with them. Yeah, well, mine was also, she says, hey, we've done one Christmas together. Let's not do another. I thought the point of like couples therapy was to like work on your stuff. And keep moving. She's like trying to get yeah, him out the door. <laughs> like, you don't want any more therapy. Go to Vermont. Uh, so that was a little <laughs> weird to me. I got to turn over here. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the questions about the town in general can go on forever. Like, yes. Yes. this town is a town of 500 people. Yep. How many of those people are involved in this ruse, <laughs> which is different than a rouse? It is. 
Um, I don't. I don't know the answer to that. I. I. We really only see, you know, twenty of the five hundred. But I don't know. It seems like it's got. I. I I'm confused by the town in general, uh, for sure. Uh, Jax. Um, I'm. I really like that actress, Amy Roning. I think her name is. Sure. She plays Kayla. Yeah. Pet yeah. portraits. I want to know. It's been like a year since her divorce. I want to know what happened, how we heard her, and I just want to know more about this beautiful, wonderful creature. Mm-hmm. Alonzo? Uh, you know, I think you, you, this is one of those movies that almost falls in the category of like you could turn it into a horror movie real quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like it's halfway the fact there. That they're, they're, you never see a single child, but they're devouring up the little pies. And <laughs> yeah. the, the, the whole thing about the therapist yeah. sending them off is also the setup to this really cool and creepy indie called The One I Love with Elizabeth Moss and Mark Duplass. Oh, wow. They go to like great. They go to a house together for the weekend. It's and really good, I stuff thought. Stuff happens, yeah. I won't tell you, but it's very creepy and cool. Anyway, uh, my question know, was, know. at one point during one of the sweeps through it. town, we see a sign for something called Rose's Beauty Salon, <laughs> but there's no apostrophe in Rose. And so now I'm thinking, oh. is it a beauty salon for roses? Probably. Is it <laughs> named after roses? Probably, yeah. Like, roses why, how do roses <laughs> figure into it since it clearly does not belong to a person named Rose. Yeah. Man, Dan. I've already done mine. Great. Did We're done. We did it, everybody. Congratulations. Wow. Are we throwing yeah. it to the double decker, or is that later in the week? Uh, we could pro- uh, probably. You want to do the last one of the week? Is that yeah, what let's you do the last one okay, of the week. Okay, last one of the week. We'll so go from Friday's episode. Uh, Thursday's episode. Oh, I thought it was Tuesday through Friday we do these. We're doing this week is Monday through this Thursday. This week's Monday yeah. through Thursday, of course, as right. it is. Just check your schedule. Click the link. Yeah, you got it. Don't check the uh, newsletter schedule because that apparently is wrong. So yeah. okay. we'll get it all I together. Oh, did you, and did you right. have it as Tuesday? I think Tuesday to Friday. Or maybe yep. had, Typically, yeah, yes. but since we're already right. recorded, we're yeah, of course. pushing them out. Yeah, Why wouldn't yeah. we? Yeah. yeah. So uh, sure. We'll be back tomorrow with another one. Until then, maybe the first of which you wait. Merry Christmas. Check the homework is the That Sounds Fun podcast. It's produced by Tracy Noah name. It's recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, thanks so much for your support.